Hey, what's up guys? I'm Harry Torn and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing as the Soviet Union. So at the end of the last episode, I did forget to take a look at the casualties. I wrote down the casualties between us and the Germans in a pinned comment, but I did want to show you guys how exactly they look. Currently, we have 17% of the total war participation, most of which we're getting from occupation. Uh, and then we've taken 69,000 total casualties, 63,000 by the Germans, comparing that to how we've done against them, 301.6 thousand. So pretty good overall. Uh, not as high a uh, kill-death ratio as we typically get in our series, simply because we're using those really uh, cruddy infantry divisions, which they have really good defense, but their attack power and their lack of artillery uh, just results in them not doing very much damage overall, and thus they take higher casualties than they typically would. Uh, so that's one reason why we've taken so many casualties. Uh, although, again, this is still pretty fantastic, considering I mean, we've killed 300 and almost 302,000 of them. The Italians have killed 4.5 thousand of ours. Well, I don't think we can even see theirs, because uh, we would have had to kill at least 27,000 to be on here, uh, which we haven't done. Uh, so you can't really see what we've done to them just yet. Uh, and then Bulgarians, they've killed almost 2,000 of ours, while we've killed 29,000 of theirs. So pretty good overall against the Bulgarians, and they're 40% towards capitulation. I did forget to mention that there will not be an episode on Monday as usual, so the series will return on Tuesday, and we don't typically have Monday episodes. And next I wanted to take a look at the intel on the Germans, because we actually have fantastic intel on them. 100% for civilian intel, 90% for army, 100% for the other two here. So we know pretty much everything there is to know about them for the most part. Uh, so as far as their, their factories go, that's how, how they're looking. They have both more civilian and more military than us. Uh, so, you know, that's to be expected. They have 3.66 million manpower. Yeah, that's a stupid amount of manpower, so they're not going to run out of manpower anytime soon. Uh, they also have a lot of fuel as well. Now, remember, we did increase their difficulty, uh, so that does result in them using a lot less fuel than they typically would. I think it's like 40% or something like that. Uh, so they don't need as much fuel as we do overall anyway, so they're not using as much, despite the fact that they, they probably don't have much oil anywhere. I assume they don't have a ton of oil. Yeah, they have some here probably being provided by refineries. But overall, not a lot of oil. Uh, a lot of convoys, so they're not running out of those anytime soon. Uh, a lot of stockpiled trucks and trains. So pretty good overall in all those perspectives. Uh, here's what we know about their, their army, all their different modifiers that they're getting... The preferred tactics are the bullets. So you might want to pick a tactic that is countering, uh, that counters that, the elastic defense, for instance. If we wanted to pick a preferred tactic, which I don't know that we can do that yet. Well, I mean, we can, but I don't think we have very many options because we have not been uh, going down the tactics tree. In fact, that's one thing I wanted to show is that, uh, I meant the doctrine tree, uh, is the fact that the Germans have completed their doctrine tree in the land in the Navy, they've only gotten two, but in the air, they have almost completed this one as well. Uh, so the fact that we are doing so well on land and in the air, considering the fact that we barely have any doctrines and they've completed their tree, I mean, that, that's really telling you something, that our divisions are designed pretty well. Uh, in order to, to perform as well as they are, uh, when you compare our doctrines, that, that tells us that our designs must be pretty decent. Their navy has 89 ships, 3 battleships, 43 destroyers, three or 5 heavy cruisers, 16 light cruisers, and 22 submarines. So still pretty decent sized fleet for the Germans anyway. And then their air force, they have 5,000. That's typically about what the Germans have around this time. Between five to 6,000, I, I think. Uh, we did kill several hundred of them, so that might be why it's a little bit less. But overall, about what I expect the Germans to have uh, when it comes to their air force. So that's the way our enemies look. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. And the first thing we're gonna do is move this railway, uh, railway gun, because it's not really helping us here. I suppose it would help with this battle that we're about to do, but we need it over here. Now, the reason why I haven't moved them over this way yet is because look at the rails, guys. They're all on the front. So let's say we move all the way over to here and they take one of these provinces, the rail gun is stuck. Uh, and it, it could be captured or destroyed. We wouldn't be able to, to get it back. So we're not going to go down there until the front's been pushed forward uh, up to the river, which is kind of my goal here. I'd like to get up to the river. And for now, we're just going to push them over to this province here so that we can get the, the bonuses, hopefully in these two, and well, we definitely will get it in these two, but hopefully in this one. Uh, I don't know, guys. We'll have to see if we can, if we can reach it. It's hard to say if that would reach or not. Uh, so we're going to get them moving now. And then the other thing I want to do 
Let's go ahead and launch an attack here. Uh, I think we will be able to win this. We put enough troops in there, yeah. And we could even throw these two units into it, I suppose, to make sure we win. There we go. Yeah, so we'll attack there. I think that would be a good location for us. Uh, also, one thing I forgot to do here is we need to improve the rail situation here. For whatever reason, it says no convoys have access, so supply fulfillment has been halted. And so we're having problems here because I, I don't really know why. I don't, I don't understand why it's saying that uh, the convoys don't have access. I don't see why they wouldn't be able to go from here to here. So I'm not entirely sure uh, what's going on with that. But as you can see, we're having supply issues all across this front. So what we're going to do is get all these supply hubs connected by railroad, since for whatever reason the convoys don't have access. If you know what's going on with that, why the convoys can't access that, let me know, because I'm not entirely sure. So let's just go and connect all of it with rails. Uh, so we'd want to build the rails from here to here, and then into here, and then onto that rail network there. I think that's the best way to do it, where you build the least amount of rails and get both of the supply hubs connected. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and tick that up to the top, try and fix this supply issue here. Uh, though I think we're only going to do this as a level one. Oops. Thought that would make that into level one. Yeah, we can increase it. But yeah, it's not letting me like decrease it. Like you normally can. Okay, whatever. Maybe I have to do it here? Nope. Yeah, normally right clicking it would let you decrease that. Alright, I'm not entirely sure why we can't make it smaller. Uh, but yeah, they'll go ahead and build these rails here and get that up to the top so they get it done. And then hopefully that'll fix the supply situation over here. We might just have to pull some of the troops out though, because we're kind of stuck here until we improve the supply. And so maybe putting them over here would be worth it. And getting the numbers up here. In fact, I think we will go ahead and move at least one division out of here. Uh, how many tanks do we have? Just the one? All right, well, we'll keep the one tank here, I suppose, though he'd probably do better up here. That's what we'll do. We'll go and bring him up here. Actually, let's get him trained first. We're going to train them, and we'll put them over here. Maybe not in the mountains right there. We'll put them over here. And let him train up. Because we need to get all of our tanks trained up. You know, we never actually finished training them, and we did lose here. Damn it. All right, so that's unfortunate. That doesn't connect to the frontier, but yeah, it's not good. Hmm. All right, so we're attacking, and currently... We're just going to have to throw everybody into this, I think. But currently losing that attack. So let's try and throw another one in here. As of right now, it's just the medium tank there. But yeah, I really want to take that again because I don't want them to be able to, to gang up on this province here and reconnect these two fronts, which again would just be disastrous. Uh, it looks like they also won here. Might have already had one there, I'm not entirely sure. But what we need to do is get the Red Army helping us out all across here, I think. You know, I've been trying to focus on this area here. This is what we'll do, I'll bring it down one more. One of these guys stay here. One come on over here. But yeah, overall, this is a, a tough situation here. Now, I'm seeing that we have an operative available. Is that because we just got a new one? Maybe because we have enough people in our faction? Man, yeah, it might have... Uh, yeah, I think when we got Sweden in the faction, that was enough to get us another operative. Uh, so let's go and hire somebody. Could go with the British guy. I think that probably makes the most sense. He's the only one that has an additional nationality. And he's also got the infiltrator trait. Uh, you could get the seducer as well. This guy's looking fancy. Could go with him as well. Uh, we'll go with Kim Bilby. And as far as what we're going to have him do, we're right now currently just working on the intel networks to make sure we have good intel in all these locations. But you can see uh, we're getting up there on all of them. So we have a couple options of what we could do with him. We could do the propaganda here to you know make them capitulate quicker. That would be one route to go. Tempted to do that here against the Hungarians, although I guess the Bulgarians are the ones that are closest to capitulation, but we can't push forward there. So we could do that, and then the other option is to go ahead and take a look at the missions available against the Hungarians, and maybe try and get some compliance there by preparing the collaboration government here. Requires two operatives, meaning that we would have to use our current operative that we have there. And I suppose that works. Yeah, I think we'll end up doing that. So let's go ahead and get him with Kim Philby. Commence when ready. We'll take some supplies, all of which we have. Does require a bunch of factories though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're currently building a bunch of stuff. Maybe we shouldn't do this right now. Let's wait to do this, guys, because we are using those civilian factories. Uh, we need to get a lot of stuff built. 
So I think we're gonna wait for that. And it's not like we don't have anything for him to do. He could go ahead and do the uh, propaganda here. So we'll do that. Try and get them to capitulate sooner. Because we're now pushing forward here. It looks like we should have some progress. Uh, let's take a look at what happened here. We lost some of our submarines, unfortunately. Okay. Still winning here. Excellent. Um, let's go ahead and have... I suppose he can go there. Just make sure we don't lose here. Uh, it does look like they're leaving the front. Yeah, they're completely leaving the front right now. I don't want to push forward there, though. I want to get to Danzig. And this guy will get there before us. Anyway, we don't have any tanks here to get there quickly. All right, so they're changing up their front. That's interesting. I'll have to take advantage of that. Let's let's first get to this province. Um, damn it, they got somebody there before we were able to, to get the win here. That's unfortunate. Let's keep pushing them back here. Um, you can see that we are about to lose here, uh, lose Memel. Which is unfortunate. Can we get over here? No, we cannot. Let's bring this guy up this way. Him up here, and then him over to here. But yeah, it does look like we're going to lose Memel, which is... You know, obviously the, the biggest problem here is the, the lack of the river, uh, the river bonus that we'd get from defending. We did sink four of their convoys and a destroyer, and those, again, are probably mostly troop convoys. They could have been supply convoys, uh, but no matter what, that's going to impact their uh, supplies, the fact that we kind of control here. And we're getting help from the Swedish fleet, too. So that's great. Uh, we were able to push forward here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and now push into this province as we move towards Warsaw. Let me just see if that's how we want to do this. Yeah, we'll, we'll just try and cut that guy off if we can. These guys are kind of weak, but they're weak too. One support with one of these. And then let's go and bring the tank in here as well. Looking pretty good. Also, this is wide open. Yeah, just wide open right now. So let's go and start pushing forward. We're going to lock these troops down. Looks like we'll be able to win anyways. But yeah, I've been wanting to get here into this location, so we're going to take advantage of this. All right, so he's going over to this front. Excellent. Uh, let's go and take another one and put him over into this front because you can see that we clearly need them. Although, you know what? We should be moving Red Army troops over to that front now that I think about it. Yeah, let's move Red Army troops so that we can try and get them destroyed there. Having offensive armies, I think, would be better than defensive ones. So we did lose here. So what we want to do is just attack them while we wait for this unit to get over here. Just make sure they can't push any farther forward. Take advantage of our, our issues there. So he's still moving over this way. Let's have him attack up here. Just put a little bit more pressure on that unit there. Yeah, definitely having some issues over here. But as one uh, person pointed out in the comments, the good thing about having this is that they have to provide uh, supplies by convoy. Uh, which does allow us to sink those supplies. So there are some benefits to doing that. We're going to go ahead and support here. Don't know if we're going to be able to get the win there, but key is to get to this location, which means we will have to stop that guy. Uh, and then also, we're going to try and get into Warsaw here. All right, so let's go and attack there and just kind of finish up the defense here. Let's move this guy in as well. And let's decrease the Blue Army's front here and then have this guy come over to here. All right, excellent. I'd love to get across there, but let's just go for Warsaw for right now. And then this is opened up a little bit anyways. Let's go ahead and put a division into there. And then this guy can come over to here instead of whatever he's he's doing. Let's see if we can't get across there. There'll probably be a division there. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, let's go and attack over here, just kind of stop that. Because we're still trying to get troops up to that province that we just recently took. Uh, we do have a decision available war propaganda. Uh, our war support's at 100%, so none of this is necessary. Just say we don't need to be notified about it. All right, so let's take a look at the situation over here. Just make sure nothing's going on that we're missing. Well, I'm not paying attention to this front. Uh, and then this uh, area as well, we should be advancing on. I completely forgot about this, this front. Let's see how we want to do this. I think we're going to try and push forward there. Put everything we got into going there. We could try and get across the river, too. That would be an effective move as well since it's going to be kind of difficult to get across the river. So this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and have this smaller army here just only cover this location. Bring these guys in as well. And then we're going to try and push across the river in addition to attacking right there. Let me just see if we can even win anywhere across this river. Probably not. There's a lot of divisions there. 
one guy's coming over here. He'll get there in 19 hours. We'll see what happens when we attack Cross River. We might be able to win that with some assistance. Maybe. Again, they're getting another division soon, so. But that's the best place to attack, I think, if we're trying to get across the river right now. Still trying to get a win here. Just no success at all. We'll try here and see if that ends up being a win, but we've seen that before, and uh, we ended up losing eventually. Uh, let's go and see if we can't break across here, at least help with the uh, some of those defenses. And just not enough uh, units in this blue army here. Did we finish training any of these guys? Not yet. Yeah, not going to be able to win there, but again, we're just trying to finish up the defense or help out in the defense, which we did do. Uh, so we are probably not going to get across that. We're already moving there. Yeah, I just don't think we have the unit numbers. Maybe if I assist here. But then again, you got another unit coming, so. Still want to take some of these other locations. Frankly, we just need more troops, though. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get across that river, unfortunately. It was undefended for a time, but it is no longer undefended. All right, so they have beat us here. So this guy's now retreating. Uh, overall, the situation here is not good. Uh, they're also attempting to push forward there with that tank unit. Uh, we just need to get more units over here. Uh, let's go and see if we can't attack here and win. Push them back while they're on the defense. Maybe. There's a possibility that we can win there. They also might have pushed us back here. Yeah, it looks like they did. In fact, let's go and attack with that guy and have him defend. All along this front, though, we are having issues, and the supplies are just horrible. Yeah, it looks like this is, none of this is even connected at this moment. Uh, we are providing uh, bonuses for these combats, but not this one. But I just don't feel safe moving them further down here just yet. Again, those guys take too long to build to, to waste them and risk them like that. So we're not going to get across this river. They put more troops over there, so let's just go ahead and stop that madness. We might be able to get there, but it looks like they're moving those guys, so I don't think that's going to work either. Uh, instead, let's just go ahead and throw everything we got into attacking that unit there. Winning here, and yeah, we might actually get a victory there. And uh, once this guy leaves, maybe we'll attempt to attack here again. And so far have failed on every attack that way. Not going to get Warsaw, but if we want to get here in time, we have to keep that attack up. All right, so this guy's moving over to here. Let's go ahead and actually stop that. Doesn't need to be. Well, I guess he has to be in this province here. He doesn't have to be in that one. All right, so we're going to try and push forward here. Let me see if this guy can. He can. We'll go and attack with these three divisions and see if we can't take that province. Again, with the the idea here that we'll cut off this one unit here, get that victory point. Uh, we are going to lose this. Let's just go and... Oh, yes, that's right. The reason why we're doing it is to keep them from getting to this province here. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I think we're going to have to attack with these guys here try and finish up this defense uh, because this is what's slowing us down right now yeah and just trying to get over to there and then we'll have to take this guy and have him attack there just to lock that unit down temporarily but yeah having some difficulty advancing there just the front in general has been difficult yeah all across here I think in this area we've had some problems our initial success is no longer uh, no longer the case and then here here you're just not gonna be able to advance until we fix the the supply issues there let's see if we can't attack here this won't be across the river again just trying to end this defense here and yeah it looks like we lost that which means they're likely gonna get over here in time I don't have anything else to really send at them I don't think yeah we really don't have much else to send over here I can try and go this way though we still gotta attack with something to keep that guy locked down. Yeah, I should have done this before. Let's send both of them over here, actually. All right, so keep on attacking there. Try and get the win. We did hold out all through here, it looks like, but they took this one province here. And yeah, we just can't get our organization up fast enough. I think that's the problem, as our organization goes up far too slow. Keep the attack on those units there. If we can just break through somewhere here, I think Konigsberg would be open to us. Hold up. We've got something here. We can go after Memel. If we keep that unit there locked down. 
Try and keep that unit locked down as well. Remember, we don't have our Air Force here any longer because we're just taking too high of casualties. Some more convoys there. And these are all troop convoys. So again, lots of casualties being caused by that. So let's take a look at the air situation again. We're gonna do more ground crews over here and not over here. Try and get control here. Might need to send more planes over that way. So you can see now, out of the four air regions that we're trying to have control of, these four here, we only control two of them as of right now. And those are the two that we have the most planes in. Now we're being challenged in these two here. I don't think this one's important enough to put more planes over there. Obviously, we don't want to lose any more territory here, but I feel like these are some of the key areas here. I don't know that we're really doing much fighting on this one, though. Yeah, I suppose you could move some of the fighters out of here. I, I, I guess that would make sense. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's take one of them and move him. Uh, we'll move him over to here. Just see if we can't challenge him a bit more there. I know they have... Uh, well, they only have 400 fighters, so that might actually allow us to, to take control there. Uh, here, I, I feel like we have to keep those planes there. Yeah, I think this looks good. I think that's a good change there. Um, maybe throw more close air support over there. Yeah, I can see doing that as well. Uh, which one's the closest one? This guy is. He's actually in this zone already, so we'll have him help out over here. Let's kind of move our planes around a little bit. See what we can do there. Uh, also, the rail railway guns. Let me make sure that they're providing support. They could come up a little bit closer here since we're not really fighting in this area. I was a little bit uh, worried about risking them on the front here. But we should be alright. And this should allow us to get support for these attacks here. Alright, so let me just take a look. Did we... Well, we're pushing forward here. We're actually winning, so we'll keep it going. The defense here is working out. Still trying to, to stop these guys here. Um, but not having much use there. We'll keep it going with the tank here, but yeah, I just don't think uh, we're doing much. It looks like we did end it. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go and stop it then so we can focus on the defense. And yeah, they're really trying to push us here. Let's go and attack with this tank unit here. We need to thicken this up anyways. Uh, now we're losing here, but it is a cruddy unit, so let's try attacking with some different divisions here. Keep the pressure on them. Uh, here we look like we're not going to win now. We did take Memo back. So we can go ahead and stop that attack now. If he wants to advance, I'd actually be okay with that. Alright, so now they have to get Memo again, and thus they got to attack across the river. So that's going well for us. Might as well stop this attack, because clearly it's not going to work. You can see they are having some minor supply issues here. They're still trying to get that because we haven't won here. And yeah, our biggest problem, of course, is just the uh, the lack of supply. Look at all the attrition these guys are facing. Yeah, the supply is a, a major issue here, guys. Did sink four more German convoys. More non-aggression packs to accept. So we'll do that. But yeah, just killing a, a ton of troops in the sea, I think. I believe that'll help us out quite a bit. I almost want to pull the Red Army back from here. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure exactly the best way to, to do this uh, because of the supply issues, but I want to leave some divisions here as well. What if we didn't put anybody here? Yeah, let's not put anybody there. We got to get the win here, though. That's key. So let me tack with this unit here and see if we can't take that one province. Again, yeah, just the fight over East Russia is, is raging. and <laughs> It is... Uh, been a difficult fight. Uh, much more difficult than I was expecting. We cut them off and I thought that was it. Uh, but that has not been the case at all. Uh, they're attacking across the river here and thus stymie in our own attack. Hmm. Let's send... They're attacking up along... Oh, they're attacking all along the front now. Uh, not down here. Probably due to their own supply issues. But they are attacking up along here. Now, these are across the river so they're doing well. Uh, this isn't a hill, though, uh, with no river bonus that they attack this way, and only one division currently defending it, uh, because it looks like the front... Oh, okay, I see what happened. This is the Red Army. That one Red Army. We're waiting to send more troops to. So he's trying to hold this alone, and I don't think he's got a good odd, or very good odds of, of holding that. So let's go and send one of these guys over to that province there, just to help support because I think we'll lose otherwise. And then what we might also end up doing is attacking here to help out. 
Because, yeah, I don't want to lose that province, obviously. Looks like it's kind of waffling between red and yellow. So we'll have to see if getting that one division over here will help. Uh, Japan just declared war on the Dutch East Indies. That'll bring the Japanese into war with the Allies. And thus, we can't expect the United States to join the Allies now. And uh, finally get involved in the war in Europe. So that'll be incredibly helpful. Uh, we start seeing the Americans help the Allies out. I'd love to attack here. I mean, could get a win there as well, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll bring this division to attack there, and then this guy can help out over here. We did win here, finally. Good God, that took forever. They might even move a division there. that We can't even stop him. He's going to get there in a matter of hours. When does our own tank get there? He won't be there in time. So they will get, us, uh, get to this province before us, I think. I don't know. We're here on a couple hours. Let's turn this up to speed three. We did lose here. All right, so we're starting to get pushed back, guys. Uh, but we did win all along here, so that's fantastic news. And thus, let's take the Red Army and bring them back one province just to help out along here. Uh, we still have seven visions. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so yeah, that's about how many we want assigned to this front here. I'll tell you what, guys, this has been a tough fight here. These guys are fighting hard. Uh, we finally got across the river here, and they're, they're going to push us back. You know, we've, we've held it for a while, but I think all those attacks into this province is what has spelled the, the end of that. Um, I'm going to try and send more troops over here. Uh, looks like we did take this province here, but they're going to probably push us back again if we don't get more units to help out. Holding out here, still winning there. I think the reason why they're attacking is because of our, our chance of victory there. Uh, and then they're also attacking us over here. Attacking there. Yeah, so far this doesn't look too bad. These guys could be helping more along the front, but there's no, uh, and this front here, I mean, but there's no railroads that go over there, so that's not really an option. So we'll just keep him where he's at. He's helping in these two battles. Could be helpful to have him there, though. Uh, losing here, I think we're just going to have to stop the attack so we can focus on the defense. Otherwise, we're just going to lose that province and the air base that's there, which would be quite unfortunate. Still too many supply issues down there. We need to get more troops to the Red Army. So I'm considering taking some of the troops here and sending them up there just because we have so many issues. Like just taking, I mean, really, you could probably take four divisions. I think that's exactly what we're going to do here. Let's take four divisions and then put them all onto this front here with the exception of one of them, which come over to this front here. Now, given this area has supply problems, too. You know what, guys? There's the United States joining the United Kingdom. I think we might build a win here in Konigsberg now. Now, I'm sure they're going to move some troops to stop us. But yeah, good news. The Americans are in the war. So that's helpful. But yeah, if we can take Konigsberg, then that shuts down all supply to these troops and just makes the whole situation significantly easier. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attack here. Oh, we don't have any... Uh, Red Army troops here, which means we cannot penetrate those uh, medium tanks. That's the reason why we're having so much difficulty there. Now let's go and get the next government cipher school. Uh, we are 156 days to decrypting the Germans getting that nice passive bonus. Uh, big battle here against the German fleet. I don't know if they had any larger ships. Looks like they were all just submarines and destroyers. Uh, the Swedes lost a submarine. The Germans lost two destroyers and a submarine. Had a plane shot down and lost 20 one convoys, all of which were likely troop convoys. Uh, yeah, because I think we saw that those are all troop convoys. So all those troops have been killed in the sea, guys. That's fantastic. And we're just shutting their supply down. Look at their supply, guys. Their supply is in a horrible position. So things are looking up here. Yeah, they're definitely looking up here. And if we can win there, that's the key. In fact, let's go and send this guy into this and this guy. Make sure that we get the victory here. Red Army's currently spreading out. I don't know if there's any way to stop them from taking this province here. I really don't feel like it matters, though, as well. It really doesn't matter if they take... Well, there's the rail system here, I suppose. I don't know that we can stop them, though. When do they get there? Five hours? How long would it take for us to get there? Sixteen. Okay, we could stop them for that long. Uh, we might even be able to push them back. I think that might be wishful thinking, but we'll try it out. Still winning here. Just barely. It looks like they did move more troops there, including this medium tank here. Just going to send more and more divisions into it, guys, in the hope we can get the win. 
Uh, we might need to attack here to stop them from moving over there, though. We'll have more and more sea battles happening. Just gonna take a peek at these. Lost another submarine. Greeks lost two destroyers. Didn't sink any of the Italian fleet. Again, the Italians have been doing much better in the Mediterranean than they typically do. Alright, so let's just take a look. Yeah, we did lose this province. Quite unfortunate, but not surprising either. We lost this one as well, so yeah, I got pushed back on several locations here. Uh, over here, they are across the river. They might have always been in that location. I think we might just try and push them back here. Our, our uh, railway gun is in an exposed position. Uh, we were able to hold all this. Let's go ahead and attack here and just try and have like a defensive situation here. And support with them. Yeah, just try and have like a, a defensive front up along the river here. Uh, we finally pushed forward here. Excellent. We've been trying to do this this whole entire time. Took a long time, and we did it, guys. Uh, we also have two more troops here now. Uh, let's go ahead and take two of these and send them into this battle here. See if we can't get the win there. And then I'm going to try and attack here and see if this is a victory. Looks like it would be. Holding here as well. Fantastic. How about all along this front here? Uh, just barely hold, held on to this. All right, excellent. Uh, I think the Green Army Division made the difference there. Uh, winning all along here as well. All right, so looking good. Just going to keep you know, paying close attention to this, these front lines. And uh, hopefully we'll get Konigsberg. Come on. I think we're going to get it, guys. Now, given they're trying to bring more divisions in, so let's try an attack here to lock those units down. And you know what? I'm going to send both of these guys into this. Again, just trying to lock them down. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so these two divisions are now completely cut off in supply, but they're about to be reconnected. Wow, this is disastrous. <laughs> they're about to reconnect this. All right, so let's go ahead and do some attacks here. See how the best way to go about doing this would be. We'll send in two divisions to try and hold this. I don't know if they'll get there in time. It does look like we're going to lose here in mere moments. These guys are all coming over to this province. Uh, let's take one of these and send them into this attack here now to try and destroy those troops because I assume they're going to try and break out here now. All right, so he's coming over this way. We just don't have uh, very many good troops here, do we? He's attacking over this way. It looks like he will win, so let's just go ahead and throw this attack into this unit here. That also help there at least a little bit. Also, it looks like we lost here as well. Probably because I didn't have the Red Army here helping. Yeah, it does seem like they're trying to push across the entire front. We did win here, so now we have that nice river, uh, you know, river defense here. We'll have to keep all the units in this location as well. I was thinking about pulling some of these Blue Army units out, but that's not going to be a, uh, a wise move, considering the fact that they're launching offensive all across the river there. Trying to get us here. Let's send one division to help defend. Also, this isn't going to work now because they're attacking us. Yeah, that was smart on their part. Uh, if we can take this province here, then we can attack with both of the units here and the units here to try and uh, finally cut off these guys here, avoid fighting in those mountains if we can. And it looks like we did lose here as well. We lost the airbase. All right, that's unfortunate, though not entirely surprising. Uh, launching attacks all across the front now, uh, but they are losing. They're even attempting to attack across these river provinces here. This guy still is uh, getting his uh, experience back up. We need to do that with all of our Red Army troops. Uh, make sure their experience stays up. Let's keep these guys here. Not let them move. Because um, obviously they're going to try and take it again. They are cut off from supply. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on this attack first. And we're going to bring this one into this area here. We did lose there. I don't think we'll be able to get there in time. Before they get across the river. We're right, looking at 22 hours there. And that might be the quickest. Yeah, I think that's the quickest. Let's see if we can't get there in time. 16 hours. We might be able to get there in time to ensure that we uh, don't lose this province here. Yeah, lots of units moving right now, just all over the place. Oh, it looks like we're going to lose there. Yeah, they're hitting us pretty hard over here. Uh, railway gun. Providing bonuses here, but not over here. And yeah, we have to keep it here to try and finish up these troops. Uh, we could go ahead and stop this attack here now. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Alright, let's go move all these guys around a little bit. 
And let's attempt to launch some attacks to get these troops wiped out since they're now cut off from supply. Yeah, it should be much easier to get these troops destroyed. Still attacking there, at least forcing them to retreat. Still trying to get those guys wiped out before they reconnect this. They did take that province. Not surprising. Let's go and stop that attack. Uh, I don't didn't see when this guy was going to get there. Seven hours. And we're at 20 now? Oh, okay, we just got our units there, so they'll have to attack. Still losing in that location, but maybe we can get these troops here destroyed before. So let's go ahead and try and attack with another unit. It's a tough fight there, guys. Real tough fight. Another battle where the Italians have won. Look at this. Total of 13 destroyers sunk between the Greeks and the, the British, and they lost a light cruiser. Wow. I don't think our planes can reach over there either. Maybe. It doesn't look like they were, though. Yeah, the Italians are doing pretty well, and I think a big part of that, of course, is because the British do not have their territories in Egypt now. So they can't bomb from there, nor can they use the uh, uh, the ports there. So I think that's a big part of the problem. Uh, they're attacking here, and they might even win. Also, it looks like we're losing here now, so might want to stop this. Focus on defense. But these guys will attack forward to help out with that defense. Yeah, tough fights all along the fronts. All along the fronts. Yeah, definitely losing all throughout here. Might as well just go ahead and stop that. It's clearly not going to work. Still trying to hold out here. We destroyed those two units. All right, fantastic. Yeah, that's that's really great news. And so now, these guys are, are not gonna get Konigsberg back. I don't think, I think we got this. Uh, so we'll let him move over here and then we'll attack from this location. And this is what we're gonna do. Let's take this tank guy, he's already here, so let him go there. And then take this unit here and have him stay. All right, so we just need to wrap this up now. Get all these divisions destroyed. So let's go and attack with this guy here now. Yeah, this is a big victory for us, honestly. Uh, we also can make some adjustments to that medium tank division because we're trying to get them building, uh, but I don't really want to build them until we get, like, at least get the light tanks out of them. Yeah, we don't want to get the light tanks out of them. And then I guess the motorized, I don't know how we're doing on trucks now. We're doing all right, so you wouldn't have to pull those out. Uh, we do have all these finished. So next, let's go into these light tanks. Uh, let's get the all the light tanks changed over to the medium. All right, fantastic. And I'm hesitant about having this much uh, this many medium tanks given how expensive they are to build. As of right now you'd have to have 450 medium tanks for each of these uh, divisions so that's not a small number. Uh, and then we want to go ahead and get mechanized here. We can do two more and that is it. Uh, but this is good enough to start building them I think. So let's go ahead and save that and then we'll start training these guys up. Probably just one division We'll see if we can do any more. I don't think we have the tank numbers. Yeah, we're already out of tanks. Let's go and make sure they're set to deploy in the capital. All right. So this is uh, gonna be getting wrapped up soon. Let's go and start the attacks here. I guess we'll take this one first so they don't have as many areas to attack the port from. We'll send those tanks into that location. And then we're gonna go and attack over here as well. Since they did defeat us there, apparently. Uh, I think we didn't get enough divisions over here just yet. But yeah, they're in a horrible position now. Can't uh, resupply these troops at all unless they used air supply, which I don't know if the AI uses air supply. Uh, but yeah, we got pushed back all across this front here. Now we will be able to focus solely on the front once we finish this up. And I think that'll change up the uh, situation here. We do have planning bonuses for everybody. Yeah, I just want to make sure that everybody's getting a planning bonus. But yeah, I got pushed back here, unfortunately. Yeah, that was uh, definitely a, a defeat for us. I'm gonna try and attack here now. We'll leave one of the stronger divisions and just attack with these two, I think. And then go ahead and stop this attack. Uh, though I suppose we were keeping them from reinforcing that province, so we'll keep it going. 
All right, so let's try again, guys. We've gone uh, back and forth with that airbase. No uh, losses here just yet. Still holding out. Really just likely killing a ton of uh, Axis troops along that front. And for whatever reason, the attack here was pulled back. I don't know what happened there. Let's go and start it up again. All right, so we've got them down to four provinces now. So let's go ahead and send in everything we got here. Get that attack going and go ahead and attack here as well. All right, excellent. Yeah, this is looking good. Really good. Uh, let's in fact go ahead and start taking some of these troops and putting them back over to this front. And we'll likely stretch this out, uh, stretch it out a little bit. Not yet though. Can we attack here from this province? We can. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Try and retake some of these provinces we lost. See what we did in the sea here. Uh, looks like they're just bombing our submarines. So we didn't do anything. Uh, we do have something here for decisions, so just emergency factory conversion. Uh, we do need our civilian factories, so we won't do that. All right, so still holding on to there, but you can see they're trying to, uh, yeah, this is not gonna work now. All right, so we have to stick, stick to the defense here now. Otherwise we will not win, and thus it doesn't really matter if we attack with those troops or not. <sighs> yeah, every time we attack, then they attack us. And they just have so many troops along that front that it's just not working out. Uh, the supply is no longer a problem here. Did we finish up the rails? Mostly. Yeah, we have fixed the rail situation here. All right, fantastic. Uh, so that has resulted in us no longer having supply issues. And so we can finally try and push forward on this front. Question is where to push forward. Let me try here. And seeing if that is a win. That is not. So what we might want to do is just focus all our attacks on this location. Uh, obviously, it's not going to help us that much. But just pushing the front forward, I think, will be useful. So let's let those guys rest again since we did that failed attack. And it looks like they are actually winning here. And one of the biggest problems, of course, is that I I have all these troops assigned to this front. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so we need to, to bring these guys back and let them reinforce here. Uh, because even with the river bonus, we are currently losing in those locations if we only have one unit there. So hopefully we can hold on. Uh, they are attacking us here as well, and it doesn't look like we're gonna win because they're attacking from three separate locations. So that's causing us some problems there. Uh, let's go and bring this unit in here to reinforce. They're also attacking all up along here. It looks like they're winning as of right now. Uh, we did win here. Let's go ahead and attempt another attack right here then. That should help out since we're currently losing the defense there. And let's see where we might want to send some more units. All right, he's coming over this way. Let's attempt this attack here because you see we're, we're currently losing in that location. All right, so just trying to finish this area up. Let's go and attack with everybody here. And we'll just wait to attack with that one. All right, so we're three provinces away from having this area completely finished up here. It does mean that they're not sending convoys across here anymore, or any troops, which I guess would be in convoys. Uh, but yeah, just not able to sink as many, I mean, as many troops out there as we were, is what the point is. All right, so this area is the problem. We're gonna have to do this like one by one, aren't we? Yeah, because otherwise I don't know that we'll be able to, to get any victories there. Uh, this ended up being a loss here. Okay, so just go and pull it back then. Clearly that's not going to work. Just barely holding on here, so let's go and send a division into this province. Rail guns are still safe over here. Uh, they're helping us out with those attacks and with these defenses here. Where's the other rail gun that we had over here? All right, so he's helping out with all these defenses. So that's good. We did get pushed back there. God damn, I, I did not want to lose that province. It took so long to get it. <laughs> All right, well, well, we'll start it up again. Uh, still holding out over here. And looks like we will end up losing right there. What happened to that division I retreated here? I retreated one. I wanted him to come over to this province. 
Because, yeah, now we're slated to, to likely lose this. And I don't have any offensive divisions over here that could help us out. We'd have to pull Blue Army troops over there. Uh, let's go and attempt an attack here now. Uh, we're going to throw everything we got into this attack. And maybe not everything, but many of the troops here. And that should be a victory now. Yeah, it looks like it'll be a victory. So push forward there. Yeah, it does look like we're slated to lose right there. But with the extra division, that might be enough to stop it. All right, so let's go and move this guy over to this province now. He's currently lacking supply in that, that province he's in. Sunk a destroyer there. Although, you know what? That might have been... I don't know whose destroyer that was. I automatically thought it was Italian, but it might not have been. I might have looked at it wrong. Um, yeah, we'll keep on signing these non-aggression packs. All right, so... I don't really like the way this is... Everybody's moving around here. Because, yeah, remember, that reduces their, their organization every time they move. So it's best that they just stayed here. Let's go and help out here. Try and at least get them down to one province, if we can. And we're also getting some allied support from the Mongolians. The Mongolians are here. Uh, did they pull? No, that's just some of their own troops that they brought down here. All right, we'll let them stay here, I guess. Uh, we could cut off their supply. If it becomes a supply issue, then we will do that. We'll stop them from getting any of our supplies. So yeah, we lost all these provinces along the river that we gained. And lost every bit of every one of them. Uh, we're also about to lose here. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, just having so much difficulty there. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised that we are having so many problems there. Uh, he's coming here, so let's just send one more division over there to assist. Let's keep on dipping around the front here. Yeah, that's clearly not going to work. So let's go and stop that. So we lost that province that we worked so hard for. Holding on to that. And it looks like we are going to win on these defenses now. All right, fantastic. So just one province left to get these guys destroyed. So let's send all the troops into it to try and uh, get the win here. Some of these guys are really weak organization-wise, so we'll have to wait. Yeah, we're even going to send some of these defensive troops, I think, just to get this done sooner. Oh, Lord. All right, so all of our attacks ended because people weren't reinforcing quick enough. So let's send these guys in here. Yeah, both of them as well. All right, so this is a total of 16 divisions that are cut off and are about to get destroyed. Uh, I really want to get that done before we end the episode because I want to see just how many casualties we caused the Germans. I think we, we caused an insane number of casualties, perhaps even more this episode than we did in the last episode. And part of that's because of our successful defenses which does look like we're about to lose here. Good God, I think we're gonna have to stretch either the green army, probably the, the yellow army. I mean, everybody's lacking divisions, honestly. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and do the, the yellow army. Red army's just not able to hold that on their own. I was hoping they would be able to. So far, nothing to indicate that they can. So we'll try and get some troops over to here before we lose, which is going to happen very soon here. Very soon. And hopefully when they get there, they'll they'll reinforce quick enough that we don't lose. Remember, we got more div uh, divisions coming this way. Two of them currently. So we'll see if that makes the difference. Another battle where the Allies and us have lost. Nine British destroyers, three light cruisers, and our own submarine with some planes shot down. And sinking nothing on the Italian side. Wow, this has just been disastrous for the British. They've lost so much here in the Eastern Mediterranean. They just have not been doing well. I'm quite surprised with it. I know they lost Egypt, but you wouldn't think that uh, they'd be taking such huge losses in the sea. So yeah, a lot of uh, German divisions here cut off. And the Mongolians are trying to push forward. All right, we'll let them. That's what they want to do. And we're still doing our defenses all along here. And it looks like we were able to uh, to win here. So we did not get pushed back. All right, so that's very good news. I'd love to win here. So I want to at least help with the defense. So let's see if we lost this province. We are still holding it. Excellent. So we did not lose there. All right, I was a little bit worried about that. Uh, we did get pushed back here, though. 
but they pulled back whatever division was going there. Looks like they lost because of not reinforcing fast enough. It's been a continual issue. Um, so there's one division design that I wanted to add signal companies to. Yeah, just trying to finish this up, man. Come on, guys. Got five left. And then once they're done with that, they can all come over to this front. And that really changes the whole situation up, up for us. I think we'll start doing a lot better. Uh, let's go ahead and finish up these comrade divisions. And remember, we still have some mechanized to, to add into them. And that'll be 15 experience. And then we might make some adjustments here. Let me just take a look. I, I want to get field hospitals in there. We might pull for the, the artillery here and get some field hospitals. Yeah, I, I'm really considering doing that. That's going to be 20 experience, though, so can't do it right now. Uh, but with that, we'll see if there's any problems here with mechanized. No, we look good to go. All right, no issues. Uh, just taking a look at the equipment situation. Infantry equipment is continuing to decline. We still have a, a good chunk of, of a stockpile there. You notice our artillery is also starting to run out. We had like five or 6,000. Don't have that anymore. Light tanks have become a problem. Uh, light self propelled artillery is also a problem. All the casualties we faced here. And then the, the Air Force. Good God, the fighters, man. We've taken extremely heavy casualties in the air. Yep. So the air is a problem. Now we're not fighting here anymore. So these planes should be moved to other locations. We're also losing strategic bombers here as well. So we might want to uh, stop these guys since we don't even make enough to replace them. Yeah, I think we're going to stop them. Just for now. Let's get their numbers brought back up, but also try and get more planes over here. Uh, once we're not fighting in as many areas. Yeah, we need to focus our fighters a bit. And what I'm thinking about doing is also pulling back an air wing, perhaps, uh, of fighters. Because we do have such low numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and take this fighter wing and get rid of it. So they can go and start uh, replacing some of our losses here. And then this fighter wing here will move into this area. So we can just kind of focus on this one area here which we are doing defenses. So it is good to uh, have control of the sky if possible. And then just take both of these units and have them come over here as well. Uh, with the exception of the tactical bomber, we're gonna move him somewhere else. Let's move him over here and have him help out in this area. Yeah, overall, we're taking heavy losses in the skies. Uh, we did lose four submarines, the Swedes lost three. So definitely having some problems now. Uh, when it comes to our submarine fleet. So we're going to need to merge a lot of these, I think. Let's go ahead and merge these two. And these ones can just join some of these other task force here. Replace some of the losses that they've taken. And then we'll put this one into here and get them doing the uh, combo rating. But yeah, taking pretty heavy losses in the sea here, guys. We are sinking their freight convoys. I don't know that we're going to operate over here anymore just because they have taken such high casualties let's just pull it back there and focus on these two areas where we actually get some some naval support uh, naval bomber support i mean and i'm really tempted you know this is what we're gonna do we're gonna move these planes here to give them better range but yeah i'm really tempted to put some uh, fighters out here to bomb their bombers, or to, excuse me, to shoot down their bombers. All right, so this is the last thing we're doing. We just wrapped that up, excellent. So that changes the, the whole front situation. Uh, so now all the Red Army will come down here as will uh, this defensive army. And I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna have the whole Red Army here because we want them to advance. And then let's pull the Blue Army back a bit to decrease the, uh, the Purple Army's front by at least one province here. We'll see how much of a, a difference that makes. So yeah, the uh, Red Army will continue focusing on that offensive there. Seeing if there's anything we can do up along the front or need to do up along the front. Particularly when it comes to defenses. Still holding out here. Still haven't finished up getting this guy trained. He's at 95%. 
And we did push forward right here. All right, excellent. So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to attack them right here. There we go. As that looks like that should be a victory. We might bring some more divisions to make sure it's a victory. Yeah, let's bring a few more divisions over here. And that'll cut these 10 divisions off here. And then we can destroy them. It's going fairly slow here. We did speed it up to speed three, and thus we did make five weeks this episode rather than the like three and a half we made last episode. And uh, we finished this up. That's what key. What is key? The battle for East Prussia is over, and we have won victorious in the battle and uh, cut off and destroyed a ton of German troops. And this will allow our Red Army under uh, Zukov here, which I wanted to see if he had any traits to get yet. As he did level up, he's now level six. No traits yet. Uh, let me just see how he's going on gaining new traits. 43% on Hellfighter is what he's closest to. All right, so yeah, no new traits yet for him. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we probably don't have anybody. Let's kind of dip through here real quick and see if anybody's got anything. Yeah, nobody's got any traits just yet. Look at the Phil Marshals real quick too. He's got one. Uh, so this is one of our defensive generals here. He's got the unyielding defender. Let's go and get him the defensive doctrine. Yeah, this will be super helpful. All right, excellent. So our defensive army here will be better. All right, fantastic. Uh, all of our defensive armies will be better now, have a higher entrenchment rate. And so that'll result in them defending better. Uh, I'm tempted to attack here. It looks like we got pushed back right there. Yeah, we got pushed back right there, so that we have divisions currently going here, but I'm going to try this attack real quick. This will be the last thing we're going to do here. Yeah, we'll jump that attack, see if we can't push forward there. All right, so let's go and take a look at the casualties, guys. Let's see how we, we've done against the Germans. So we've taken 200.7 thousand casualties. Good God. And the, the Swedes have also taken a lot. I haven't taken a look at these fronts yet. They're actually losing territory. Yep. The Swedes are currently being pushed back while well, we have these divisions just sitting here and, and some of that's necessary to stop them from crossing here, but you know, they're, they're moving towards the Swedish capital. I think we're going to need to send some of these divisions to go help out up along this front because they're losing all across the front now. So yeah, that's not good at all. Uh, so they've taken 37,000 casualties. I don't know how well they've done. Looks like they've killed almost 67,000. So they've done pretty good. Killed two Germans for every one that they lost. Looking at ourselves there, we lost 200,000 to the Germans. So quite a bit more uh, while killing 775,000. Not bad, but you, you'll see that our kill death ratio is actually getting lower, much lower. We're at now killing like uh, almost four Germans for every one of our own that has died. Uh, but yeah, much, much lower overall. Uh, they are currently 5% towards capitulation that we've taken East Prussia from. Uh, 1.29 million total casualties. So that's quite a bit for Germany. Uh, they have 53% of the total war participation, while we have 25%. Against the Italians, we killed 4.5 thousand. Or excuse me, they've killed 4.5 thousand, while we have killed 28.8 thousand. All right, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's decent. Uh, and then Mongolia has taken 7,000 casualties total. Uh, the Hungarians have killed 3.7 thousand, while we have killed 9.2 thousand. So not quite a 3.0 kill death ratio. Doing okay, I guess. With the uh, Bulgarians, we killed 1.9 thousand, or they've killed 1.9 thousand, excuse me, while we have killed 31.3 thousand. And they're currently 40% towards capitulation here. I almost feel like we should work on the the Bulgarians since we're not pushing the Germans at all, or excuse me, the Hungarians at all. Uh, so instead of having Kim here do the uh, propaganda there. Maybe we should do the propaganda. Oh, we don't even have an operative here yet. Hmm. Do they actually have divisions here? They do. Since we might be able to push forward here, we might want to switch those over. That'd be one option for us. Something to consider. It looks like the Japanese have had a successful invasion of the Philippines. They have a port. Looks like they're pushing forward. So that's going well for them. And uh, we might see the Allies lose the Dutch East Indies and Malaysia soon. Yeah, uh, I think the Japanese would attack there next, especially considering the fact they already have Indochina, though they are being assaulted there by China. So I have to watch what's happening there, especially now that the uh, Americans 
are now in the Allied faction. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.